You know what makes me sick? You know what makes me sick? I can shoot a raccoon with a tranquilizer dart and wear it as a living coonskin cup. I was sitting down there, dropped a second of coal, and Pete said, Earl, how come you always wearing a baseball cap? I figured a big country western fan like you'd wear a cowboy hat. And I told Pete, a baseball cap is the best kind of head wearing apparel ever made. First of all, there ain't nobody except some country singers that don't look like total morons wearing a cowboy hat. And then, you ever price one of them Stetson cowboy hats? You almost got to take out a second mortgage to buy one. No wonder they got a second story. Most time you can get a John Deere or a Caterpillar hat as a freebie if you pretend you're interested in buying a tractor. And there's one big plus over any other kind of hat. So you gotta blow your lunch when you're riding in your buddy's new car and you don't want to splatter used beef jerky all over his brand new upholstery. You just whip your instant barf bag off your head and blow your lunch. And then you toss it out the window. You ain't about to turn a brand new $80 cowboy hat with a feather and a snakeskin hat band into a barf frisbee. Another thing is, you just can't climb into a pickup wearing a cowboy hat. you would got to bend over and take it off. No problem with a baseball cap. Or a big wind comes up. Cowboy hat goes sailing off like a garbage can lid. You just pull a baseball cap down a little tighter. When it rains, a baseball cap keeps the rain off your face and it don't smell like a wet dog when it gets rained on. Now, a cowboy hat keeps the rain out of your face okay, but if you look up, all the water it collects on the brim pours down the back of your neck. Wake up, America! A real man knows you can't make love wearing no cowboy hat, neither. With a baseball cap, no problem. You don't believe me, you just ask Steve Garvey. I'm Earl Pitts, American. Pitts up.